deal with it. Yep. So. so starting out with the Falcon, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes very poorly, and then he goes back to Fox, or he could try the Falco. Yeah. So I, I think going to Falco, honestly, a worse choice, because Arsenal's has been incredibly consistent against other spaces. He definitely is. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Wow, going for that SDIN on the Nair on the platform. Going for this dash dance method, just but still putting himself into the corner. As I say that, getting himself out, but taking a lot of damage just for her, even trying to get positional advantage. Wow, that's so smart. Yeah, and very consistent. One of those big things, especially against fastballers versus semi-fastballers, full hop Nair, very good at contesting a lot of aerials, especially if they have even a slight startup. With Fox? Yeah, with Fox. Yeah, yeah. I was like, with Falcon? Wait a minute. No, full hop Nairs with uh, Fox are like godlike. Yeah, they're definitely very godlike. Yeah, great angle just to make sure that he's barely riding the wall of PS2. Yeah, trying to call out that tech in place, but Curious if the bad habits that he's had for Shokyo is going to work out in Fury's favor. It just really depends if he can really break it down. Yeah, Fox has a lot of tools that are like... He has a few tools that are really good at abusing characters. Uh, full Hop Nair, Full Hop Bear, and Uptilt are definitely the tri what, three of the greatest tools against Captain Falcon. Yeah. But Fury... Going for that SD and, I don't know, looks like he's in his head just a little bit. Yeah, Justin was just throwing out moves there. Yeah. And Fury just was not doing anything. Yeah. Oh, God, he got the crouch cancel, too. He's definitely trying to get Fury, a, I mean, just furious. <laughs> Good meme. I mean, it's not even a meme. He looks actually pissed. Yeah. Fury always looks like that, though. Yeah. When he's in tournament, at least. It definitely is a, a jovial man when he's playing friendly. Oh, yeah. I feel like Fury... Good grief. Oh, my God. The footstool. Yeah. It's a... Yeah. It's a shield drop, too. This is looking rough. We're seeing a lot of get up in places or t uh, tech in places from Arsenal's, but because Fury is te very telegraphing his moves, allowing Arsenal's just to adjust with things like spot dodge. You just get yeah, all that scenario. It really just felt like Arsenal's was kind of just overwhelming him. Yeah. The Fury Marth. I have not seen this in a while. I actually thought this might happen too. But. So Fury, <coughs> when he first started, was a Marth mate to begin with. Yeah, he was Marth, then Falcon, then Fox. Yeah. Um, but realistically, Fury has some of the most competent secondaries of anyone in our scene. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. His punish game is actually, like you said, just very uh, competent, very uh, consistent. It's working well right now. Yeah. And this may be uh, what works out for him versus Arsenal's because a lot of the times, Arsenal has a very faint, if not decent idea of how to use space, but I think Fury is one of the best players to implement it. Oh, yeah. Working off it. And one of the reasons why I can tell that is because Fury's Marth, compared to Arsenal's Marth, is... I don't know. It's... Fury's is very better. cognitive of where he is on positioning. Yeah, for sure. He knows. To... He knows like the situational punishes. Yeah. And yeah, this is working really well, actually. Yeah. I was like, he's probably gonna not win this game, but. So, uh, you cannot sleep on Fury's Marth because uh, we're talking about it, and he was giving me Marth advice as it went on, and he was like, "Yeah, I." I was I played Marth and then I played Fox and then I played Falcon and I may start playing Marth again just because he seems more fun. Yeah, I can see that and it's definitely working. And that punish game was actually. This is some nutty up airs right now. Yeah, he's not letting him breathe. 
What the fuck? Get destroyed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Three. Battlefield. Going to battlefields. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this pick. It is going to allow Arsenal's. I don't know. I I honestly don't think. I think it might just be a comfort pick for Arsenal's. Yeah. Um, I but think, I think it, it's good for both characters, so it doesn't really matter. I think if Arsenal's was one to work more off of platform, sure. But honestly, in his gameplay against Shokyo, it hasn't been looking like it. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe more of an escape just to get out of the corner because they're more recent. Yeah, I think I think you don't you never really want to play like the flat ground game with Marth. Yeah. Uh, so having platforms is good. Surprise. Because it is closer to the ledge, but Fury is incredibly good on Battlefield as well, and it doesn't matter what character he's on. Oh my god. Has him up in the air? Oh, I like the down air attempt, but didn't get the tipper. Yeah. Yeah. And staying very, very, uh, I don't know, intimidating. I think with how his punish game has been feeling throughout the match, Arsenal's has to respect them. And putting himself into the corner is not how you do it. Oh, we just ran straight at him. Yeah. Ooh. Hit it a little earlier. Wow. You gotta drop down there and just back yeah. air him. Yeah, trying to keep him in the air, trying to shark that double jump landing, but just being a little too slow, especially since Fox is that fastballer type. Yeah, get a hit. Yeah, trying to keep him in shield, and that's the respect I was saying. You don't give up position, you just make sure that you do things like run up shield just to bait out the option. And it's still working out in Arsenal's favor. Now, Ooh, oh, fades back. And that was so good. Just to hold position with the Nair and immediately go for Shine. Still making sure that he's limiting Fury into the corner. Finally working off of these platforms. Just making sure that he's coming up from above and allowing Fury to uh, really think about how to counteract the movement from Arsenal's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Baiting out with that space. And Arsenal's just caving him there. Yeah, and that's so consistent with that poor ledge dash from Marth because it's not fully invincible, just allowing for a very active forward smash just to counter it. Getting that, calling out the shield drop, but back out. That'll be it. Yeah. Very curious if Fury is going to stay. We'll see. Yeah. I think the Marth is a fine idea, but and who going knows? back to Smashville. Or going to Smashville. More FDS than anything. Mm -hmm. uh, but also more consistent for a character like Fox. Yeah, it's working back. off your dash dance. And we're seeing a lot of the times in those few seconds, Arsenal's making sure that when he went for a dash dance, to stay under the platform. Just so if... Mark tried to throw an option, he can just retreat towards it. He just waited for it and jumped over him. Yeah, just being a little too slow with that dash hit. Or down smash hit. Didn't have his jump, it looked like. Yeah. And this is where you have to start keeping a more uh, cool and collected head. Because at this point where you're working off of a deficit, especially on a secondary, after such a strong start on Arsenal's, it's it can get pretty rough because you're at your peak and then you immediately drop down off of a loss. Oh, barely did not get that downer. If he would have turned around, he could have gotten the rising downer on the backside, but he ends up cleaning it up anyway. Yeah, it's three stocks apiece on 23% deficit. Yeah, once again. Yeah, that's exactly what you need. Just limit the angles, but don't invest in any particular move first. All right. Yeah. So 
Arsenal's in the position to go and immediately crouch cancel uh, a move like Nair, but just mixing it up with the roll, very smart. And it's gonna lead into this punish right here. Oh, missing That was the, almost super dope. You tried to get that reverse back air. Yeah. And just the... I don't know. What is it? How volatile this matchup is. Yeah, you can just die in an instant. Yeah. I wanted to say the... Is it volatility? Is that the word? I guess that's a good way of describing it. Wow. Yeah, once again, just killing him at 24. And it's all just because uh, he is over 100. Oh, good call out. We got a last stock situation. And it's going to be a lot for Fury to see if he can just come back in this scenario. Yeah, Fury was only had a hefty lead for a while. And he kind of got... He got foxed on. Yeah, he's trying to option select them on the tech chase. Interesting empty op. Tries to come back in, but the late now is going to That was so him. smart. Uh, yeah, trying to shark him, make sure he limit his recovery, but Fury, it's practically even. It's based on the hits. That was good. Oh, that was a smart forward throw. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, that's going to be it. Arsenal's played that a lot better than I expected them to. He got a lot of he got some shines at the ledge that definitely yeah. turned things around. These sets have been getting better, and my slow or my brain is getting a lot slower as the matches go on. Rough. Yeah. All right, what's next, Hunter? Bananas, Troy. If it's already started, then we're gonna do winners finals. Ah, uh, he's ruining everything. Is Winner's no. Finals, is that Shokyo Lunchables? It is. Okay. It is indeed. You know, this is this bracket is basically just another IAB. <laughs> Pretty much. That's that's what it's been looking like. With the addition of Lunchables, who came here solely for the reason for Super Mario Odyssey and Clutch City Clash. That's that's literally why he's here. He's like, I just need money for stuff. I know I can get it at these tournaments, so It's true he can. He's pretty good. He is super good. Turns out he is a top player. Just turns out to be. Oh my goodness. Well, as we wait for our next match, uh, just going to throw out another ad. Uh, Clutch City Clash 2. It's going to be October 28th through 29th. What? Okay, yeah. So. Frick, we're just waiting, everyone. Troy and Bananas has started. We're waiting. Probably going to go in Bananas' favor. Not going to lie to you. Troy's breaking out the Ike. 